This meeting is being recorded. Welcome everybody to this 30 minute meeting we have on Wednesday nights with Dr. Joel Wallach. So legally we must say that this meeting is for educational and entertainment purposes only. What you hear tonight is not intended to diagnose, treat or cure. That being said, it takes great discipline and changes in our mindset and habits to have the protocols work. And because we know that pigs are cured and dogs heal. So we are here to seek true science-based clinical advice on the use of nutrition to feel better. If you have a desire to make a 90-day change in your lifestyle, you've come to the right place. Dr. Joe Wallach's research and the development team has created an army while raising his children from a boathouse, a zoo, and on the road. To be respectful, I ask you all to please write down your questions, mute your phones, and in 15 minutes, we can open up the lines for your questions. And now, without further ado, Dr. Joel Wallach. Okay, well, thank you, Pam. Thank you, Dave. And thank you, Laura, for uh, setting all this up. And um, let's we'll start out very quickly here. Today, we're going to talk about connective tissue. We're talking about the skin. We're talking about arteries and veins. We're talking about tendons and ligaments. We're talking about heart valves. Um, we're talking about, um, let's see here, the uh, bone matrix, the disc between the vertebrae. I mean, just think of how many parts of your body and how many tissues are connective tissue, okay? And it requires an enormous amount of nutrition to maintain this because, you know, things are going like crazy. And I, I always like to start out with the skin because you can see that, okay? It's hard to see your, your heart valves, but you can see your skin. And it's not unusual for people to have psoriasis. Psoriasis comes in many forms, uh, change your skin, different colors. You get raised, sort of itchy things, uh, cracks in the skin and so forth. Uh, you can lose your hair, hair fall out, um, the hair turns gray. Uh, none of this has to do with aging. It's all due to nutritional deficiencies, okay? <clears throat> and then of course, same way with uh, arteries and veins, you get blockages in there, and this can be due to uh, deficiencies of the nutrients that maintain the walls of the arteries and veins, which are again, connective tissue and elastic tissue, which is a kind of connective tissue. And um, it's one of those things where you have to say, okay, what are we gonna do here? We have to appreciate that again, uh, we, we require 90 essential nutrients, okay? 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 minutes to three fatty acids. And it's one of those things where we cannot make them. That's why they're essential nutrients. We're, we require these things to be consumed, okay? In either workable forms or easily transmittable forms from raw materials to the good stuff, okay? And so we have uh, what we call the uh, healthy start pack. Okay, we have the Healthy Brain and Heart Pack. The Healthy Start Pack has 90 essential nutrients in it. Um, and then when we started looking at bone matrix and bone problems and things like that, and arthritis um, we, and osteoporosis, uh, we started adding to the 90 essential nutrients uh, collagen, you know, glucogel was called it originally. And of course, our famous uh, basketball player, Theo Ratliff, 24 years old, um, and he lost his uh, spot you know, with the Atlanta Hawks, because he, he's only 24 years old, but he had bone to bone arthritis in both knees. Uh, all doctors wanted to do is give him a double knee replacement. And he couldn't play basketball anymore. So they, the team terminated him and took away his $35 million contract. And he came to, uh, to us, to his pastor, because uh, we've been working with his church for many years. And uh, they told us his story. So he said, okay, we'll come up with something. So he we had the Healthy Start Pack. We didn't have anything to regrow cartilage and ligaments and tendons. So we, we created the uh, glucogel, okay, which is our first collagen product, added that to it. So that became the Healthy Bone and Joint Pack. And we, we uh, came up with that for Theo Ratliff. And in, in a couple of months, he gets his position back and he plays for 11 more years and makes $100 million, okay, from having the Healthy Bone and Joint Pack. And we also came up about three or four months after we came up with the Healthy Brain and Heart Pack, we came up with the, um, let's see here, we came up with a rebound or sports shrink with 100 nutrients in it, including some of these things that are required by the connective tissue and all tissues of the body, all the connective tissue everywhere, okay? And so this is not something that's new. Uh, this is not something that um, we 
um, accidentally fell onto, we actually put it together based on knowledge of what these tissues required. Your skin is kind of like the red warning light, okay, for many things, including, of course, deficiencies of the raw materials for connective tissue. And again, bone matrix, uh, bone because the minerals sit on a connective tissue tube, okay? And that's made out of, as I said, connective tissue, okay? And then uh, arteries and veins, valves for the heart and tendons that hook the heart valves to the muscles in the heart, okay? And but the skin to me is always kind of interesting because you have the sweat glands in there and it helps keeps you cool. It also gets rid of poisons, but through the sweat, you sweat out the poisons and you, you cool your body by sweating. Um, and um, uh, it's one of those things where uh, you're, also you have antibodies in your sweat and the sort of oils in your skin, if you will. And um, this, this protects you against viruses, bacteria, fungus, and yeast. So this connective tissue we call skin, and of course it has the um, hair follicles in your skin and that make hair, okay? So it has an enormous wide berth of things that it's required to do. So it requires all 90 essential nutrients. And of course we throw in the extras in the healthy brain and heart pack and it has the 215 nutrients, the core of which is the 90. And then we like to throw in Again, the MSM, the collagen peptides, and um, the uh, glucogel. We have the collagen sticks and so on, and that will. And also, the rebounder spore shrink has seventy-five minerals in it and uh, twenty-five vitamins and amino acids. When you look at uh, rebound, okay. Or, no, let's let's go to Red Bull. Let's go to Red Bull. When you look at Red Bull, it only has one mineral in it magnesium, and the B vitamins come from um, the, what should I say, the leftovers when the factories make beer and wine and whiskey and stuff like that, okay? And so the B vitamins come from that, and that's it. We, we put 100 nutrients in our sports drink. They only put one mineral. We have 75 minerals, okay? We have 25 vitamins and amino acids. They have, I think, a total of four between the amino acids and, and vitamins. Okay, and so we have so many successful athletes that have been broken down and they come back, including Evander Holyfield. Okay, lost his title because he had a heart attack. Okay, he had a heart attack. The connective tissue in his heart was falling apart. And we came up, okay, with him with a healthy brain and heart pack. He came back and nine months later and beat up Mike Tyson and got his heavyweight championship back. Who, who comes back from a, a near fatal heart attack and beats up a Mike Tyson. Two referees had to jump in the ring and stop the fight because Mike Tyson was knocked out and was just standing on his feet and his arms down. And, and um, Evander Holyfield was just beating the snot out of him. So they stopped the fight and, and he got his championship back, even though he had that near fatal heart attack a couple of months earlier, okay? Because we took care of his connective tissue. So with all that said, um, we have the products, we have the experience, we have the books and CDs. Um, and so I do want you to get a hold of the book, uh, the Wallach, okay, the Wallach Revolution. And there's two famous people, okay, one of which was Pat Boone. He wrote the foreword to the book there because he had terrible arthritis. I mean, he was going to have a double knee replacement because of his connective tissue and his knees and his hips and his vertebrae were all going down the tubes. And we got him on our healthy bone and joint pack that we had made for Theo Ratliff and got him repaired. And of course, um, then the second one we had, um, I mean, he wrote the forward, okay? Isn't that, isn't that cool? Pat Boone wrote the forward to this book. And then the second one, Danny Glover wrote the last chapter in the book because he had epi, what was it called? He had, um, uh, he, he was having um, seizures, okay? And then he had uh, all kinds of stuff going on there with um, uh, seizures. And Did he have and knees too, Doc, in the wheelchair? Huh? Wasn't he in a wheelchair? He had knee bad knees too. Yeah, but that wasn't his thing. That was that was that was um, uh, Pat Boone. Uh, he had seizures and also epi. What? 
where you have epilepsy. Where you have epilepsy. There you go. He had epilepsy. Okay. And so we actually re rebuilt him and he came back and he didn't, he didn't need to be in a wheelchair anymore because he wasn't having seizures and didn't have epilepsy anymore. And so he wrote the last chapter in the book in here. And so nobody can argue with that, those stories because it's these, the people who were involved in the stories, they're telling their stories. So it can't be, oh yeah, Wallach, you're making all that up. So get this book, The Wallach Revolution. It's a 75 year track record of all the things we've done to repair and replace worn out and damaged connective tissue. Okay, so be with us and guess what? You will do great. And don't forget the book Hell's Kitchen because there is a transition at three o'clock in the afternoon, Monday, September 4th, 1882, um, when we went from wood and, and coal as fuel, we we're putting the wood ashes into our food and our gardens for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, long before the Old Testament. Okay, and uh, that's where we're getting our minerals. Well, once we went to electricity, there was no more no more ashes. And doctors say, oh, just eat well, you get everything you need. Well, that's because they had forgotten we weren't getting our wood ashes anymore. We weren't getting our minerals where they were necessary to take care of what? Oh, the connective tissue and everything from your skin to your heart, to your lungs, just think of all the cartilage and everything in your lungs, your trachea and everything. Um, every, every tissue and system requires connective tissue support. And so we're so very proud of that, okay? Don't forget the book, Hell's Kitchen. It, it'll add, the information will add 25 to 50 healthy years to your life. Save you an enormous amount of unnecessary misery. Save you an enormous amount of money. Okay, with that, uh, let's go to the next part here. Let's go to some questions. Hello. Go ahead. I see a 212 number. Go ahead. Hi, hi, this is Barry. Hi, Dr. Wallach. Hi. Uh, okay, I have a question here. <clears throat> now, I have a polyp in me. They took several polyps out. I, I was in the rehab center two years ago because I had uh, bladder spasms, and I, they took out bladder stones and then had blood clots on the lungs and that whole thing. All right, now, I have. they took out some polyps. They took out a big one, uh, like 30 milliliters, and it had cancer lesions on it. And there's a 50 milliliter one they couldn't get out. They said it would take a two to three hour operation to take it out. But they said they'd rather take two feet of my colon out because they said since the 30 milliliter had cancer lesions on it, I have colon cancer in my colon now. They did ultrasound, they did MRIs and everything, and they didn't find cancer anyplace else in my body. So, okay, well, let's stop there because we only have moments here. So what I want you to do is get rid of all the bad foods. Get a hold of my book, Dr. Wallace Cooking Without the Bad Foods, 300 pages of safe recipes, cooking recipes, and also uh, cooking uh, recipes, as I said, cooking methods and recipes. Also, it goes into the good food, bad food list. Okay, Dr. Wallace Cooking Without the Bad Foods. And then I also, because you have all this stuff going on, uh, let me ask you one pertinent question here. How many times do you wake up at night to urinate? Once, three times, five times? I don't wake up because I have a catheter in me right now. Okay, well, before you had the catheter, how many times did you wake up to urinate? Once or twice. Okay. Yeah, the odds are you have osteoporosis of the skull squeezing the spinal cord. Okay. It's squeezing blood vessels. It's squeezing the spinal cord. And so you're getting all these issues all over the place. Okay. And you got to stay away from the bad foods, which causes polyps. Bad foods cause polyps. Okay. Okay. It's it's an inflammatory thing. And so you have to stop doing all the bad stuff. Polyps are not genetic. Polyps are not autoimmune. They don't just sort of appear. You cause them by eating incorrectly. Okay. And so uh, this is very simple stuff. Um, again, get that book, uh, Dr. Lawrence Cooking Without the Bad Foods. That'll put you in the right path. Um, how much do you weigh, sir? 225 now. Okay. I want you to take uh, two healthy brain and heart packs a month, a full dose thing twice a day. Okay, then I want you to get the MSM, take three of those, the breakfast, three at lunch, three at dinner time, that'll be two bottles a month. I want you to get two of the canisters of the collagen peptides, so you can take three or take a scoop of that with your morning drinks or their evening drink. Okay, and then um, again, you want to make sure you're taking the rebounder, spur shrink, no other, other than just water. Uh, you can have, we have decaf coffee, we have wonderful coffee uh, with longevity, it was good. 
but I also, I, I drink our rebound. Uh, I take uh, two doses of that a day. We have it in sticks. We have it in canisters. We have it in cans, but the cans, you do have to pop the tops the night before. Uh, put two of them in the refrigerator because they do have um, carbonation in them. Pop the tops from the refrigerator at night. You, I drink one at breakfast and I drink a half of one at noon. And then the other half of the second one I drink during the afternoon. So my energy is up all afternoon. And of course, this occurs when people have osteoporosis of the skull. Okay. This is connective tissues. This, this is autopsy. We're taking the top of the skull off. You're looking down on the brain. The skull is a quarter of an inch thick. This is normal. There's also an autopsy. We took the top of the skull off, looking down on the brain. But here the skull is an inch and a half to two inches thick, and that's scar tissue. That's not bone. It's squeezing the 12 pairs of cranial nerves. It's squeezing the spinal cord. causes 37 different diseases, all of which each, each disease is a chapter in a book here, okay? And it's one of those things where um, these doctors went to all these surgeries and all this, that, and the other. And really, in most cases, all you need is nutrition, and stay away from the bad stuff. And all this stuff goes away, okay? Because connective tissue has an enormous capacity to heal and reorganize and go back to normal if you give it the stuff. But if you just keep damaging it with fried foods and processed meats, you know, with all the nitrates and nitrates in it, um, uh, you're gonna have a struggle. And so you wanna take care of your connective tissue no matter where it's at, whether it's in your brain, in your heart, uh, your lungs, your your kidneys, um, your intestines, uh, your liver. And of course, it doesn't hurt to throw in what we call the gallbladder in a bottle, uh, throw in our yeah. alt enzymes, take uh, your body weight. I'd go ahead and take uh, two or three of those, say five or 10 minutes for each meal with a couple ounces of water. I only weigh 142 and I take two or three before each meal, okay, with a couple ounces of water. So I'm sure to absorb all the nutrients I'm taking as a supplement, but also, um, digesting my food and absorbing my essential fatty acids because we put bile. We actually get bile from a slaughterhouse, from the, the cows they slaughter. We take their gallbladders and dry the, the bile and put it in our, uh, I think we're the only ones that put bile into our uh, enzymes. Okay, we call them the gallbladder bottle or ultimate enzymes. <clears throat> so that's going to help you out too. All right, so okay. you know, give us a call every couple of weeks. Let us know how you're doing. Anytime you go visit the doctor and you get some kind of status report, let us know. We'll walk you through this, okay? All right. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Well, back to you, Pam and Dave. Anybody else have any questions? If not, I'd like to ask in regards to somebody who just had surgery, a uh, new kidney, and what would you suggest for them to have? Um, okay. This was, a, was this was a kidney transplant? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, of course, they need to have all the stuff that's necessary to make the kidney happy, which is a healthy brain and heart pack, the ultimate daily plastic tablets, which support healthy blood pressure and healthy blood flow through blocked arteries, because your kidneys require a lot uh, from your arteries, okay? Because they're getting the dirty blood, okay? Taking the, the, the nasty stuff out of the, the contaminated um, artery blood. And then also um, the kidneys, uh, when you have... Um, what osteoporosis and stuff like that. You're getting more um, stuff going on in the periphery. So you're getting more high blood pressure. And um, this is where you want to be taking the ultimate enzymes or you know, gallbladder bottle. And um, I, I like the ultimate daily classic tablets. I only weigh 142 and I take three of those twice a day to support healthy blood flow through blocked arteries, whether it's in the brain, the heart, the kidneys. And um, it works every time. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, Laura, you have a question? Uh, yes. Hi. Actually, hello. <clears throat> it's not really for me. I have a customer on the line. Her name is Pamela as well. And she would like to ask a question. She called in, so we don't know how to raise the hand for dialing in. Go ahead, Pam. Hello, hello, quick question. Star uh, six to unmute. Star <laughs> six to unmute. Okay, we got a problem here. Hey, Pam, it's your turn, Hi, Pamela. can you hear me now? Hi, um, thank you again for this opportunity, Laura and Dr. Wallach, I'm very pleased. Um, 
I, I had a question mostly about dosage, and um, I was diagnosed uh, several years ago, my first uh, bone density. They said I had osteoporosis. It was really bad and told me to take Bosomax, which I said no. Um, I think this might be a testimony for um, after, uh, subsequent to that. I take um, the Tangy Tangerine, and I take every day the OsteoFX. And two years later, there's, they, don't, they, they said my hips are normal, which um, several years prior, they didn't think it was so great, but um, went to an endocrin- endocrinologist who is now saying, oh, raging uh, osteoporosis in your spine, your, your bone density doesn't look so great, and go on a um, parathyroid uh, made in the lab uh, medicine that just about a year ago was black box FDA, yeah. uh, bad not take. Anyway, okay. I said no. And, How and, much you and weigh? my, my well, question, well, I'm about 100 pounds. How much you weigh? Um, Dr. Well, about 100 pounds, around 100 pounds, and I'm 5'2". Okay. All right. So you need to stay away from all the bad foods. No fried foods, no yes, processed sir. meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, no butter, no oats, no buckwheat. Uh, no sugar, no carbonated drinks, even the diet drinks got to go and the carbonated water got to go. And then at 100 pounds, I want you to have one healthy brain and heart pack per month. Take a half of those every day at breakfast, half of those every dinner time. I also want you to have, in your case, I want you also to take the MSM. Uh, go ahead and get two bottles a month of our MSM. So you can take three at breakfast, three with lunch, three at dinner time. They're going to help repair cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, discs between the vertebrae, bone makes the bone itself, and the skull. Uh, the vertebrae, your hips, your knees, uh, fingers, toes, every place, jaw, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. And uh, okay. I also, I also uh, want you to take the, um, in addition, I want you to take our rebounder sports drink uh, mm-hmm. as opposed to just bottled water and that kind of stuff. You need more minerals. And of course, our rebound is built with minerals to supply these minerals to athletes who sweat out an enormous amount of minerals. Okay. And at 100 pounds, I weigh 142 and I drink uh, two doses of the rebound a day. So you could uh, have a half a dose of rebound twice a day at your body weight. Okay. Which would be um, you know, one of these sticks a day. So there's 30 of these sticks in a box. So this would be good for a month, you know, uh, in the box of the sticks. And then we have the canister, the 36 servings in the canister. Okay. And then, of course, we, yeah, have, we have the cans. Yeah, Okay, that's the rebound. And that's going to give you more yeah. minerals. Okay. And then yeah. I, enzymes, your enzymes. I, I just wanted to throw in that the enzymes that I received and I started taking in the last couple of weeks is like a game t- changer. I, I I just feel so much better. Um, is that something else I should continue taking along with glucose? You take forever. I, I take three of those enzymes with each meal. Okay. Ultimate okay. enzymes. And selenium? Yep. Sir, should I, should I say also, I'm on your selenium. Should I continue that as well as pro do, do you want to live? Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. And that's and, like asking me, should I, continue to, should I continue to breathe? Of course. Now, colloidal silver is good. I take a dropper full of that, under two droppers full under my tongue. When I wake up in the morning, two droppers full under my tongue, my five or 10 minutes for breakfast, five or 10 minutes for lunch, and five or 10 minutes for dinner time. And then again, 10, 15 minutes for bedtime. I go through two of these bottles of uh, colloidal silver per month, okay? And they kill viruses, okay. bacteria, fungus, and yeast. And it's very important. And it uh, supports your immune system. And you have to appreciate that penicillin only kills gram-positive bacteria. The only Penicillin only kills staphylococcus and streptococcus. It doesn't touch any um, of the viruses or any other bacteria. And so you're really, really committing suicide when you just take penicillin. We have all these infections and all this, that, and the other. Throw in the colloidal silver. Um, there's no alcohol in it. You can even use it in open wounds. You can put it in baby's eyes because there's no alcohol in it. Okay. Any place there's infection, go with the colloidal silver. Okay. Thank you so much. I so appreciate all your help. Okay. Well, Thank God you. bless you. We love you. Keep up the great work and tell your story to everybody. Okay. I am. I am. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Pamela. And how old are you, Pam, if I may ask? 
I'm 64. I'm a brown belt in karate. I'm getting my black belt within a year. I ride right. a horse four times a year for the last 20 years. I work out every day. I do weights six times a week. And I have listened to Dr. Wallach for over 20 years, wow. but I wasn't religiously taking the uh, Young Avity product, the you know, um, when, you're when you're sweating, you need to re see, when you're sweating, you're not just sweating out water, you're sweating out nutrients as well. So you really need to be taking these nutrients at the levels we spoke about here to so replace what you're sweating out. I took an ounce of um, the liquid colloidal minerals um, you know, the green bottle after mm -hmm. I work out, I take an ounce. Is that, is that good enough, do you think? Yeah, well, well it's, okay. but don't add that to your rebound. Oh, oh, great. Thank you. Yeah, add that to your rebound. Can you know, I ask one last question? Yeah, you know, rebound is much more, um, what should I say, more complete. Okay. More complete. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Did you want to ask one more question, Pam? I did. It's it's about these um, from Dr. Wallace's perspective about drugs, um, the osteoporosis drugs. Um, I, I I don't under, I do understand. I, I I understand from a revenue stream perspective. Okay, well, see, osteoporosis drugs just resolve symptoms. They don't fix the problem. This is why we have the MSM. This is why we have the um, let's see here. We have the MSM. We have the glucogel. We have the collagen peptides. That's because, and we have the re, we have the rebound, all to maintain repair bones and ligaments and tendons and connective tissue, including the skin. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Perfect. I'm glad you mentioned about the ultimate um, enzymes. That's fantastic. Okay, and we have uh, Dave. Your hand is up. I want to give a quick testimony, Doc, since it's connective tissue night. Um, I've had three major wrecks in my life. I shattered my ankle on my right leg. I broke that same leg in three places. I shattered my pelvis, and I fell down my basement stairs 33 years later, shattered my talus bone. They had said I had an 80% chance I was going to lose that foot. Now, without going into the gory details, the, the, the wreck that I had second in 1979 I had a crack in my shin bone, my talus bone, 10 inches long. It looked like a lightning bolt. It was a half inch deep and a half inch wide. My leg was swollen and ugly and in pain all the time. After I recovered from the fall down my basement stairs, and that was 11 years ago, they said I'd lose my foot within five years. I'd be begging them to amputate. I still have my foot. I walk pretty darn good. It's not 100%, but it's about 99. And that 33-year-old wound that I had in my leg healed. I didn't even know it. I, I, I was rolling around on the floor with my grandson, and I wanted him to feel that crack in my leg. And I went to feel it, and it disappeared. The pain was gone, and it was because it was chronic, you know, pain. I, di I didn't even know it was gone. I forgot all about it until I went to reach for it to find it. It filled in because I was taking glucogel capsules, 16 a day, and I was drinking about two or three ounces of the glucogel liquid while I was recovering in a wheelchair for six months, healing my foot. And when I finished, when I got out of that chair and I rehabbed, they had to teach me how to walk again. I was walking a 17-minute mile on the treadmill, and I never did that in my life. <laughs> so I'm 64 now, and uh, yeah, I get around pretty good. So thank okay. you, Doc. Okay, God bless you guys. Okay, God wrap it up. You. Thank you, Dr. Wolf. Do you have anything to say for Mother's Day for all of us women out here? Well, give mom, okay, give her something that's going to help her connective tissue, including her skin and all her arteries and lungs and uh, so forth, and heart valves, but also give her something uh, that's good uh, for her um, uh, girly stuff, okay? Okay, we have all kinds of girly stuff, and so look at look at our list of girly stuff, and give mom something that's going to make her happy, including, you know, we have all this hair stuff. Um, gray hair has nothing with age, it's due to a nutritional deficiency, get her on our, our um, 
uh, hair, skin, and nails, and her hair color will come back, and she'll look 25 years younger. Thank you, Dr. Wallach. We love you. <laughs> Open it up, then, uh -huh. Dr. Wallach. Have Thanks, a great day. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, by God. the way, I wanted to say real quick, thanks for speaking to another customer I had today. She called you on the radio show. She mm -hmm. was so happy to speak to you that you gave her you gave her the answer to a long problem that she's had. She was in tears when she called me. She was oh. so thankful. Well, the main thing, she's happy and we're going to help her. We give God all the credit and we're just, we're just as the, we're just the instrument. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks, you have Doc. a great evening. See you next week. You bet. Yep. Bye bye. Thanks, bye -bye. everybody. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye bye. Thank bye -bye. you. Have a good night and a better tomorrow.